Hi friends and welcome back to the farmhouse. It's great to have you here. Today I want to bring you along for a room flip. The rooms we are flipping are the office and grandpa's bedroom suite. Now originally when grandpa moved in last year he was going to have an upstairs room but at that time he was too sick to do the steps and so we moved him into our dining room. Now that meant our dining room furniture got scattered everywhere which way he eventually made room for everything and most of it went into the office for instance i used the dining room table as my desk there is a hut that i used for storage in here and so it worked pretty well for a while this past summer grandpa spent his time in his camper in our backyard and he just loved it he loved the peace and quiet because it's really wooded and quiet back there he loved his independence and it worked out really well. We took over that dining room space by bringing down our full size guest bed and putting it in that room while we engaged in a great big master bedroom makeover, which I'm editing for you now and hope to get that up soon. So the office became the drop zone. You know when you are in the middle of a major remodel, there is one room that just becomes the drop zone. Our extra furniture, the extra carpet and padding and all the tools that we use, the paint and everything that was used in the makeover got put in the office. And so when it was all said and done, the office looked like a major bomb went off. Which if you've done renovations, you know that's the case. So after we got grandpa moved into the dining room, we put down new carpet for him and everything was great. Then I started working on the office. It was time for me to get back to work. And so I wanted a nice, clean, organized, cozy space in which to do my work. So I started on that process and I made a few changes, which then six weeks into grandpa being in the house we realized we needed a plan b our puppy bear who is now over 100 pounds gets in the way a lot and we were afraid of him tripping so we put up gates and now everyone's tripping over the gates it's not peaceful and quiet for him our washer and dryer is in the dining room so it's disturbing for him and i'm in and out all the time and also the things that I need, I've been moved to the basement or other places. So I'm up and down steps probably 50 times a day. And while that's great exercise, it can also be exhausting. So we sat down and we talked it over and we all agreed that grandpa was now strong enough to do the steps when he needs to. And we are here to help him and take care of him so that's no longer an issue and it just made more sense to move him into his own quiet space and put the dining room back so that it's a fully functioning dining room and I can get to the things that I use to cook with and store and all those things. Now the challenge is am I going to be able to take all the things from my craft and office space and hide them in the dining room and still have a fully functioning office craft area within a beautiful dining room. Yes, we're all going to find out together. Even though I've already started on this project, I do want to show you the office space, the kind of before. You can see I already have my paint samples on the wall. That's where Grandpa's headboard is going to go. This dresser was there, and I was going to put a fireplace there I had worked on. We just installed the TV. Over here is where I had a long craft table and then my crafting items were on this board. This worked really well. I had above storage. Over here on this side is my craft cabinet. It's empty. I'm getting ready to put things in the drawers and they are already sorted and organized in these bins and I will fit them into the drawers when we get this downstairs in the dining room. This is the desk I was using up here. This is actually the dining room table. As I talked about, it came up here, as did this corner hutch. It too is a vintage piece and it came up here and we are back at the beginning. So here's a pile that I'm working on, uh, organizing and decluttering and just moving to where it needs to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that and get this room ready to bring all of grandpa's things up to this room.
tip I have for you whenever you're going to do a flip like this I have put everything that I may need in the amount of time it's going to take me to do this reorganization and room swap because you can always count that it's going to take longer so anything that I might need I've put it all on this four tiered plastic shelf in our guest room it's not exactly pretty but it is well organized I know where everything is so the things that I use the most and may need to grab most often are all in one spot during the chaos some of you may have already seen this space in my pantry organization video I'll link that down below but this is grandpa's room and this is also our dining room and this is what we're going to do we're going to bring our dining room back and take this upstairs now the room that he's going in is directly above this room so it's the exact same size but there is more room in it because we have a doorway on the other side of the room here that comes from our living room into our dining room that doesn't exist upstairs. You'll see it here in just a second. And then also on the far wall next to that opening is our laundry center. And that is just a wall upstairs. So he will have a little extra space in his room. that the upstairs is empty we are going to take all of this upstairs If you can see a divot in the middle of the floor here, we're just unpacking our new rug, but the divot in the floor, I learned from a historical society that when people use lanterns a lot, it, they would fall to the floor. That sudden falling and, and flare up would cause a burnt spot in the floor like that. And I just thought that was a unique part of history and the history of this house, so I've left mine. But you can see our new rug here has a lot of creases in it and we're not sure that we can get them out. It's pretty bad. So you can see here under the table, we've got the table and some wood trying to get those creases out. Now here is our table. Right before grandpa moved in, we were getting ready to redo this table. We had put a new top on. We wanted to sand it and give it some rustic characterizations before I stained it. But it was winter when he moved in and it got pushed off to the side. So it's still not finished, although warm weather is coming very soon and I'll be able to take this outside and sand it and get it ready and prepared. But I cannot do that now. So what I've done is I've gotten this 
tablecloth from Hobby Lobby. It's very, very thin. It's just in the party supplies at Hobby Lobby. And so I liked the wood grain. I thought it would kind of make the table fit in a little better until I could get it done. So that's what we're going to do. Now I've brought in this table and it's going to be my sorting center as I bring down all the things that were upstairs. Now before I do that, I don't know about you, but I am a visual person. I have to get it out of my head in order to make it work. So what I've done is I've made a list of everything I'm going to need to sort in this room and bring into this room and where am I going to hide it so that I can use it and make it function well but not see it every day if I'm not using it every day. So I've drawn out the size and shape and made drawers and everything on every piece of furniture that I'm going to have in this room, every space available. And then on my list, I look to see what I have, where it will fit, and then I cross it off. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the built-ins again that once was the pantry, and now we're just going to make this an organization area for office and what I might need in the dining room working in the office. I know so many of you have been dealing with this the past year of finding a place in your home where you didn't have an office available and making it work. And so I've listened to a lot of you and Hopefully I too have given some inspiration if you're working in a non-office workspace in your home. Maybe something I am showing you can help you disguise it and make it more appealing and yet fully functional. These bins worked out perfect for my paper and cardstock, and now I have a whole lot of miscellaneous things that I needed to get rid of and declutter. I have some folders I need to go through, and then I have some more sorting and decluttering to do. I decided not to bring the filing cabinet into this room. And so things that were in the filing cabinet have to be gotten rid of. So I'm gonna start with my Markers and pens, I know I have a lot of them and probably too many, although I don't think that's a thing. I don't think you can have too many. I really like pens and markers and colored things. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort them first so I can find places to put them where I can get to them, but they don't have to clutter up any one area. This is my collection that I'm keeping. I did donate a lot of it and then here are my two that I use the most for my day planner, and so I'm going to be putting them someplace else. I don't know exactly where yet, but we're going to work on that. Now I'm going to declutter all those folders because some of them I'll need to keep or repurpose because, like I said, we're not using the filing cabinet down here, and these folders will come in handy for things that I need to save or get to. The rest of the things I decided that what I would do with my filing cabinet is scan them and put them on disk drives and things like that so that I can get to them again. But a lot of the things that we keep in our filing cabinet, we really don't need to keep a uh, paper handy so obviously I had a lot of extra office supplies and I thought that I would donate them because I will probably never ever use this many staplers so here we have this on the shelf I really like where it is but it too is in need of a serious declutter I just put all the things in here that I would use upstairs in the office just so I would know where they were and now that it's downstairs I can use these folders more efficiently and I just need to sort them and repurpose and organize. Mm -hmm. 
Well, friends, it's time for a haul. I love hauls. And I always love when people share their ideas with me. So I want to share with you what I picked up to bring into this space that is really going to help me keep things organized and working well for me. So first of all, I want to share with you my two rolling carts. I got these from Michaels and they are in the color gray. I'm going to use one for my office supplies and one for putting things into the basement. And this is an acrylic file folder that I got from Amazon. I will definitely link that down below for you. This piece I got at an incredible sale from Michaels and it was actually my inspiration. This was my farmhouse office inspiration piece and I also picked up these four metal wall hanging file holders. I picked up some countertop from the Dollar Tree and then I have these folders that I got from Amazon and these I also got from the Dollar Tree. These snap open folders are made of a heavy vinyl. They're plastic so they keep things safe. I got them from Walmart. I also picked up another file folder for temporary filing and I got this from Walmart as well. I also grabbed this from the Dollar Tree. I want to make a little sign with it. And I just thought it was very inspiring to keep me working in my office. Now we're going to get started with the craft cabinet. The craft cabinet drawers are empty and everything is sitting over there in the bins that I brought down from upstairs. I also changed out my receipt holders. That's the little pile of bins there on the floor. And I did have them over on the built-ins, but I changed that up and I'm going to be able to use them in here for some organization as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with that. Now over here on this side, I have books that I use all the time. I really like the storage for my books and I do have a little bit of space and maybe with a little critiquing, I can open this up for some more storage options. I'm really worried I'm not going to have enough storage space, but we're going to make it work. We're going to bring it together. Okay, all the drawers are full. I had plenty of space. I'm very excited. I have the top drawer for glue things. And I have my glue sticks, a spot for my glue gun, Maj Podge, some tape, and then I have in the back my E6000. I use those bins in this drawer for my markers. I have some permanent big markers for big projects. And then these graphic markers and then my chalk markers are here where I can grab them. These are the Ziploc bags that you find in the beauty department and I just labeled them. I have my Sharpies, my large Sharpies, my large color Sharpies. All of those markers are here and I can just grab the bag for whatever I'm doing. And then I have chalk in the back. This drawer is all craft paint and I know I can't really see every color, but the smaller bottles are kind of arranged by color, so I kind of know where they are. For the chalk paint, I just wrote the colors on the top, and this is going to work very well. I can just open the drawer and see the colors, so that worked very well. In the next drawer down, I just have paint brushes and things to paint with. I use a lot of these little foam brushes, so I have them in the front along with all the other brushes that are sorted out. Uh, not really according to size or anything, they're just in there. And then in the back, I have things that I paint with. I have some sponges, some paint trays, some paint holders, and again, the brushes. The very bottom drawer on the left side, I have all various 
pieces of twine and string that I use and then I just have some craft embellishments, some cloth and some wood embellishment and in the front here I just have some little wooden dowels and sticks, things that you use to glue things together and that is it for all the drawers and that worked out really well. It's all here, all handy. I really like how this works. Now I have my donation box and you can see George. George loves box. George. Hi, George. What? You it in the box. In a comfy warm box. You look like Garfield in the box. <coughs> yeah. Here is our basement door and I want to utilize this space, this wall for organization and to put a cart so that I don't have to make so many trips up and down those steps. And this spot is where I want to hang my broom and my mop. They were bright purple and tan, so I did what any normal person would do. I spray painted them. Just gave them a coat of some matte black and I'm going to hang them up and they will match the room. Let me know in the comment if you love a good corn broom. I love my corn broom. So here they are, they're hanging on the wall, and this is going to work until that space gets opened back up in the laundry nook area. Now I want to start for you my organization of my work cart. The first thing I'm going to put in my acrylic holder are these heavy duty vinyl plastic coated file folders. I have them all labeled and they are for business so I can keep them very handy when I have information that I need. They're just right here and easy to get to. So that is the first thing that's going in our acrylic folder. The next thing we're going to put in there is my folder that has all my pertinent information regarding like utility account numbers and things like that that you need often but not daily, so I just keep it handy. I could not live without my five subject notebook. I have one of these and I carry it with me everywhere and I have it divided into sections for home and things like that, but I use it all the time. And here are my six Amazon files that I have labeled and I have them labeled for things like this week, pending, current work, and things like that so that everything is doesn't have to be spread out on the dining room table but it's all here at a quick glance that is easy to get to next I have my project book this is the book where we put all our household projects in it and then for each page we have we can list what we need where we are and I really like having that now I have some note paper this is my schedule book and I can schedule things in there that are upcoming that I don't want to forget about and my little notebook that I carry with me so I can take quick notes. And then finally in the front I have just enough space where I can put in a couple more things. I always keep with me a ruler because as you've seen I like to draw things out and when I'm planning my gardens or planning a DIY project I have to have my ruler. So I have my scissors and I have my ruler and then there's also just enough space in the front for me to also include putting my planner. I just want to give a mention here that when you see the stand wobble, it's not the stand. The stands are very sturdy. If you have them, you already know that. But if you are thinking about getting one, they are very sturdy. It's just our unlevel old farmhouse floor that is not level, and that's why it's wobbling. But I also have this little caddy here that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I can stuff it with things if I'm going to go work in another room, and I don't have to take the whole thing. I can just put a few things in there, whether it be color pens or pencils or tape or a stapler whatever I'm using and I can just carry it into another space and work on it there and this little bin I have my tape and stapler and some glue these bins I also got at Hobby Lobby 
and they were in the spring section and they're 40% off. And these are the markers that I use the most in my day planner. And so I have one for each set of markers and I actually taped the kind of the name of the marker inside the label so that I can know which one it is that I'm using. And so you'll see right here, this is my scribble stuff pens and I put that label inside the box and they kind of have like a magnetic top so it doesn't just open if you have it sitting there or tip it you have to kind of pull it open next on this middle shelf I have my pens and pencils and then I have my colored pens that I use in my calendars and my day planner as well and then for the bottom shelf I just have some stickers for my planner and then two envelopes that have other things for my planner inside them as well. For my tier by the basement steps, I'm going to put this bin in here and then I can just toss things in here throughout the day that I need to take down to the basement. I can carry the whole bin down at once and make it easy and not have to make quite so many trips down those basement stairs. Next, I want to install these wall hanging file folders. I got this idea from Dawn at The Minimal Mom and how to take care of paper clutter the minute it comes in your house. And so this is where I'm going to put it until I absolutely have to file it or whatever I'm going to do. Take my plan of action, whatever needs to be done, it's taken care of. so nice to have things tucked away and then I just wheel them out whenever I'm working and everything is right here right handy but it's not cluttered I am really loving this 